pray for this next week coming up that we practice well for state and that we play with heart and we play together and we play to glorify you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 Warriors on three! One, two, three, Warriors! Anything worth doing, you must do it well. Don't let anything drag you behind. You can be independent. It's not this. <laughs> You're gonna break down sometimes. It's not gonna be easy. It's how you respond. Part of our semester exam. Push strong, head forward. You now I'm gonna change that 1.9. You just have to be along for the ride. Congratulations on your selection and on your success. My name is Brooke Green. I'm a junior at Little Rock Christian. I play soccer and I run cross country. Brooke as a child was determined. She just got up and she has not stopped since. She's just, she gets something in her mind and she does it. Mom, we use this. Yeah, and butter it first. Brooke started playing sports at five years old. She did gymnastics, but she didn't like it as much as she liked soccer or basketball. I think that's good enough now? Yeah. I can remember they have, you know, the micro soccer. Took her to first game. She looked at that ball and she just went and she scored and I called my husband and said, she likes soccer. My mom just trying, you know, like letting me pick things that I like. So I chose soccer. I like the team aspect. I like doing things with the people and working as a unit. We pray for this next week coming up that we practice well for state and that we play with heart and we play together. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. 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 Warriors on three! One, two, three, Warriors! Hey, push up, White, push up! Come on, Madison, focus! Brooke is a hard worker. When I put her in, I just know I can rely on her. The position that she plays is a defensive mid. She does some defending, but she also has to get involved offensively. She's there to switch the field. As a midfielder, you set the pace of the game. There's so many people ahead of you that don't really see the players behind them, and I can speed it up by being more intense, getting balls out faster. But if we want to settle the ball down, control, like slow the game down, we have the ability to do that too. Telling people to shift, move here, look here, create space. She is the one who's going to go up against a girl that's probably bigger than her, so her teammates respect her in that way. I'm not afraid to get a little scrappy, go after the ball, because I'm a very competitive person. And so when I'm playing against girls who are 6'3", 6 6'4", 6 throwing a hip or two if you have to, to, you know, doing anything you can to, like, get the ball, be aggressive, I think it's a, just who I It's, like, inside of me. She brings the toughness across the board. I mean, in life, I think she's already had to face so many things that no one else has faced. Most people haven't ever um, had to deal with. I think she used soccer to just push forward and push through, and I think she knows that that's kind of what her father, you know, would have wanted her to do. It was really sudden. It was January 17th. My dad, he'd always kind of got sick and we would kind of joke, you know, it's a man cold, because he would just get like sick kind of frequently and me and my mom and my sister never really liked that. I had a indoor game at Bluebirds, you know, like there was never a game he missed and he was like, I just do not feel good. The next morning, he didn't go to work. My mom called my grandpa, his dad over to help get him in the car to take him to the emergency room. Immediately, when that doctor looked my dad in the eyes, he could tell there was something wrong. It turned out he had Addison's disease. It was pretty quick. It was in the middle of the night, me and my sister were asleep. I get up and I walk downstairs and I like, my mom meets me on the stairs and she sits me down and she said he, he didn't make it. And I mean, I, I knew something was wrong. 
everyone's home. My, my grandma was here and so was my aunt. And, um, you know, at first I'm shocked. I'm not crying. I'm just like, this can't be real. And I just go out on our back deck. It's the middle of the night. It's January, so it's freezing. And I'm just sitting there and like, this is my life now. Your first thought as a parent is, how can I let my children feel this, but that this won't be destroy them? How will we ever recover from this? They realize like how many things I take for granted in my life. There's no guarantee for tomorrow. And I definitely think that's changed how I live and how I treat people. I want it to be something that everybody has their own grief process, but that they can recover from. The biggest accomplishment is that they got to stay themselves. It will change us forever, but it didn't change the core of who they were. You're starting on end of the year creation. This will be a part of our semester exam. This year is the first year that I've had Brooke in class. Sometime next week. She's someone you want to be teammates with. When she comes into class each day, there's very little distraction. Yeah, now and I do the same thing to the other one? Yes. Now when you change that 1.9, okay. is always looking for a challenge. I think what we've seen this year, maybe both academically and athletically, is her focus for what she wants for her future. The thing that stands out the most to me is at the end of the day, she still has this unshakable joy. And what do they throw at him? Rocks. I would choose a hard worker over a natural brain any day and Brooke is the epitome of that. I'd like to welcome you to the Max Prep Summer Fidelis Athlete of the Month presentation featuring Brooke Green of Little Rock Christian Academy. When she was selected, it was another layer of, wow, they're seeing what we see in our Brooke. Brooke, you have faced many of life's battle. Congratulations on your selection and on your success. Brooke is a true warrior. Her story can be such an encouragement to others. I am so proud of Brooke. I could have never imagined. Rob would be very excited that she got this award. I've had to push so many of my feelings down for so long just so I can do what I'm doing. I think that's I want to honor my dad's name. Death, that's not unique. Grieving's not unique. It's how you respond to those things. You're going to break down sometimes. It's not going to be easy, but you can do it. You just have to be along for the ride.